Hi, I'm James Mullins, founder and CTO of Flame Systems, and welcome to the first software release of 2022 for Flame Trainer. Our growing team has once again done an outstanding job, and we're so excited to share some of our most significant developments to date. We're listening to feedback from our customers around the world and implementing improvements to allow you to train more effectively. Flame Trainer's latest software release showcases our new compartment fire system. All house and apartment residential scenarios now allow trainees to conduct even more thorough size ups that give an accurate indication of what conditions are like inside the compartment. There are two key developments. The first, you might encounter smoke exiting through openings. You might see windows become blackened or come across doors so hot they emit steam when sprayed. The second, trainees can now execute door entry procedures where an instructor controlled secondary firefighter can open and close doors for them. There are even ventilation controlled compartments that will immediately flash over if the correct door entry is not utilised. With compartments now filling realistically with smoke, it makes navigating difficult and hazardous, which goes hand in hand with our new virtual thermal imaging camera, which accurately depicts hot zones and people, allowing trainees to search for and rescue trapped occupants. Another exciting update is our new inject system, which allows instructors to dynamically impact scenarios in multiple ways. For example, should a trainee get too close to a fire or lose touch with the nearest exit, the instructor can trigger an event such as a flashover to keep them on their toes at all times. Instructors can also trigger events where trapped occupants call out or even make a baby cry, which really elicits a very visceral response from the trainee. In some scenarios, instructors can trigger explosions, make walls and power lines collapse, and when needed, activate foam cannons and sprinklers. This release also includes a rural burnover scenario where a fire crew is stranded in the path of a fast approaching bushfire. When the burnover signal is given, the trainee must execute the burnover readiness procedures before the bushfire or wildfire passes through. This scenario is a faithful reenactment of the Victorian Country Fire Authority SOPs but please contact us if you need something like this for your particular service. We've uh, recently added two helicopter crash scenarios set on the rear deck of a naval frigate. In these really visually impressive scenarios, the trainees are tasked with either protecting the hangar bay from the resulting fire or protecting a second member of the firefighting team trying to gain access to the cockpit to shut down the fuel and power. The instructor can trigger sprinklers and foam cannons, explosions, and uh, trigger the suppression system. Lastly, we've created two new corrections facilities with fires in mattresses in cells, uh, a very procedural scenario that needs a trainee to interact correctly with the inmate while also attacking the fire. The second scenario depicts a wildfire approaching a corrections facility externally. The fire has random propagation and will emit embers that can ignite spot fires on the prison grounds. With the completion of this release, we now have 67 flame trainer scenarios. Over 200 customers across 34 countries and can deliver training in 28 languages, including our spoken call-outs. This release also premieres our new data collection system that includes a collection and processing of micro-level learning events in the compartment scenarios. We'll have more information on data analytics soon, but in the meantime, please make sure you're connected, engaged in our support forum at support.flamesystems.com or follow the links to support from our homepage. We're also delighted to announce that at the start of this year, the immersive VR technology utilised by Flame was recognised by the National Fire Protection Association and featured in the NFPA journal. The NFPA is an international organisation with over 50,000 members devoted to eliminating death, injury and property and economic loss due to fire and related hazards. The article highlights how Flame's technology will play a critical role in the future of firefighter training. This support from the NFPA is critical to moving the industry forward in implementing what we know is a game-changing technology and best practice in keeping firefighters safer and the environment cleaner. We couldn't do what we do without the support of over 40 partners around the world who help us every day make what we do possible. If you haven't registered your Flame Trainer to our portal, please do so. Head to our website and create an account. This will not only enable you to access our expanding scenario library, but also download the latest software release, as well as access our support team and the larger Flame community. We can't wait to show you what we're working on next. And as our team expands, the future of training is looking bright. Until next time, thank you very much.